Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, let us rejoice and be glad in it. And there's a lot to rejoice in, a lot to be glad about, uh, and a lot of reminders of that as we literally look around just the incredible beauty of, of, the, of the landscape itself. So. I want to thank all of you for being here. Uh, we uh, depend on every one of you as, as part of our team because uh, one man didn't build this. Uh, customers, employees, uh, uh, family, uh, but every one of them had to get up every day and come to work. As a family, we're blessed that we can all work together and uh, continue to get up and try to get in the market. It's important to get out across the country. Our customers don't have much business in the, the Beltline within D.C. Uh, our folks are out here in the farmlands and fields and hinterlands all across America. And uh, we love to get out and talk with them. I don't expect them to come to D.C. In fact, I'd rather hear from them directly rather than them sending a hired gun there to talk to me about their issues there in D.C. So we, we love to come right to the uh, source. And the good thing about farmers is they'll tell you what's on their mind. Uh, uh, and uh, sometimes even when you don't want to know. Farmers are some of the most resilient, optimistic people I ever know. It takes a lot of faith and hope to, to put that seed in the ground every year, and we're going we're gonna to hope and have faith with them that things are going to be better. The exhibit is, uh, is a, there's two reasons that we have an exhibit here that we agreed to do this, and is one is, um, you know, we wanted to tell the Hinton Mill story. To maybe the folks that hadn't heard the story and, and also tell the story of the museum to get folks in here that maybe had never been to the museum that's affiliated with us. And uh, the, the second thing is that we wanted to do is uh, just pay tribute to all the people that, that got us to, to this standing right here, right this moment. And uh, a few things that we, we, we realized is, um, one is it, it, you know the biggest building in the state couldn't hold all the people and all the artifacts that it would take to thank all the people that have got us here. So whether it's you know family members or whether it's uh, employees that have worked for us, how, how do you thank somebody that's worked for you for 50 years like Bill Cooper or 40 years like uh, you know, Bill, uh, Joanne Shields, uh, Furman Perkins, Marsh Newman, how do you, you know, 30 years like Hilda McKenzie, how do you thank somebody? I think sometimes that uh, we, we, we put so much uh, emphasis on other things and one of the ma major things we talk about serving farmers obviously we have a lot of emphasis on on our customers and that's what this this weekend is about but we also wanted to, to have something that was just a, a special moment for our employees and to thank them for all that they do throughout the year. The Hinton Mills team is here today to celebrate their 100th anniversary and to thank their families friends and the customers they've proudly served for the past century. We will now invite Mr. Bud Hinton to make his way out to the mound to offer up a ceremonial first pitch for us. Handling the catching duties will be Matt. Nice. Third generation to fourth generation. Congratulations to Bud and to Matt. Let's hear it for them and the whole Hinton family.
school. That's the school owned combine, and that's John Johnson, our former FFA president, went on to be a state officer. Uh, so there's two good ones there, and obviously I, I, I don't get to brag on my dad enough, but uh, I know he is honored to to get asked to be um, uh, the Grand Marshal this year. So thank you on behalf of him. I just want you guys to keep in mind that there's always somebody, there's always somebody watching you, there's always somebody that loves you and there's always somebody that needs to be loved. like today when it seems most apropos this is the day that the Lord has made uh, let us rejoice and be glad in it and there's a lot to rejoice in a lot to be glad about uh, and a lot of reminders of that as we literally look around just the incredible beauty as members of the community ourselves we w we want to make the community a better place and if we don't do it who will is usually the approach. So when we see the opportunity to be involved in making the community a better place, that's what we want to do because our kids are growing up in that community, our family is living in that community, and, and uh, our co-workers and, and uh, friends are living in that community. So uh, it's our opportunity to make uh, a better place for our kids and for our, our friends and family and co-workers uh, to live. I think that's how everybody's kind of treated as, as though they're family, whether it's a customer, employee, or, or family, actual family. They're just treated like family. And the people. The people is what it's all about. Anything you're doing, the people. We feel so fortunate to get to be a part of Hinton Mills and uh, to get to be a part of the Hinton Mills team, to get to be a part of the business that our great grandparents started years ago and that our Papaw Hinton uh, continued and, and grew and to get to work with our dad every day is just, you know, it's, a, it's an awesome opportunity for us and we learn so much from him and looking back over the years, our role models growing up were people on the Hinton Mills team. It was people that the Hinton Mills team served. Those were the people that we learned from and looked up to. And and still today, we feel so fortunate to get to be on that team with the people that we care about, people that we love, just an amazing group of people, and to get to be in the communities that we're in and, and to serve the people that we get to serve is just a, a blessing. And as long as we can remain focused on the things that we have been focused on over the years, faith, family, friends, and farming, I think that it's, it's possible that you'll continue to, to hear the Hinton Mills name for the next hundred years. And uh, we're just so thankful for the opportunity to continue to serve you. And thank you for the opportunity.